Okay, so we're going Doom Foretold against Mono Red. And who's on the draw? It looks like Mono Red, which is exactly what Mono Red wants. It's a very good aggressive start. Turn two, Robber the Rich is exactly where he wants to be, taking and exiling cards. Last cast, it is definitely going for Robber the Rich. Welcome everyone on the Jank Chats. Thank you very much for stopping in. Thank you very much for the follows. I do want to apologize. This is my first live event, so I'm still working out all the kinks. Elspeth Nightmare comes down and takes care of uh, creature, giving him a one-one. Phoenix has haste here, so that's pretty awesome. Wow, that's a lot of damage on turn four. Did I give the official mark? Didn't. Can you give the official mark? Uh, it's not going to be top eight play. It's going to be top four play. Uh, we have two rounds after this. Shadow of the Sky here is actually really good. I think this is really good for Mono Red because he still gets two creatures and he can escape uh, the Phoenix. Yeah. Wow, he's just the Mono Red deck is just putting a whole lot of pressure on the Doom Foretold deck. I think game one here, uh, it looked like it could be in the hand of Mono Red. This could go very, very quickly. What does he have? Well, he definitely has an Omen of the Sun, which is going to help him gain life, but I don't think this is going to be enough. Yep. Nope, it's just not enough. He blocks the rim neck, rim rock here, and I would block Annex, wouldn't you? Yeah, I would block Annex as well. Down to two, another annex in play. A board wipe isn't gonna help him here. Wow, this mono red deck is just taking it to Doom Foretold. This is not the matchup I was expecting to see. But that's how it should be, sweet and salty says. <laughs> is this it? No, Elspeth Conquers Death is not gonna help. Doom Foretold isn't going to help. Bombada being both cards. What's his draw going to be? I don't know. I don't know if that's enough. No, he's going to concede to game one. Wow, that went quick. Wow, that was really awesome. So for here, uh, the Doom Foretold deck definitely wants to bring in as much removal as possible, whereas the Mono Red deck wants to just go longer, but stay as aggressive as possible. They want to go underneath Doom Foretold, for sure. For sure. T1 Island, go. Turn one island. Oh, I get it. <laughs> 
<laughs> Control deck. Turn one island. Go. I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay. Okay. Which is funny because he's playing mono red. Yeah, that's not wrong. That's not wrong. Doom Foretold here is definitely taking its time, making sure his sideboard card selections are a lot more effective. Shadow of the Sky against um, Annex was crazy. Looks like they're ready to go here. So the Doom Foretold deck is gonna be on the play. Looks like it's a keep. Keep for both. Here we go again. Mono Red just wants to stay as aggressive as possible. He can go turn one champion. This is great. This is exactly what Mono Red wants. They're going to attack for three here. Wow. Going underneath um, Doom Foretold is definitely a way to win this matchup. So I think he wants to play another Annex here. I'm sorry, I'm surprised he didn't play it before. I guess he was trying to see if uh, he had a, um, a counter. So turn one island go now is just trying to reduce some of the uh, damage. Oh, uh, eliminate is very, very good here. Eliminate can take care of Annex very cleanly. Or he can shatter the sky and uh, just wipe the board, only leaving one ones behind. Uh, but instead he decides to grab... Uh, Grab a mana. I missed what color it was that he grabbed. These new ones are very hard to see. Just leave Joe in the backup. Okay. Oh yeah, for sure. Yes, yes, yes. Wow, this mono red deck is just taking it to Doom Foretold and is going to pretty much end the game if they don't find a very, if he doesn't find a very good answer. This is a good blocker here. It also allows them to trade and draw cards. But um, I don't know if it's gonna be enough. I guess so. Yep. So what does he eliminate here? Does he eliminate Annex? Nope, he doesn't eliminate Annex. Wow. Mono Red is just putting so much pressure on him. Is this it? Is the game? Oh, he's down to two. Draws a card. So he's going to eliminate Annex here on end step and then shatter the sky, wiping the board, staying at two life. Wow. If he can come back from this, this is going to be amazing. Last casket. That was a very good play. Very good play. Very smart. Annex. Very good. Very good. Empathy can bounce that. I'm pretty sure. Ooh, two annexes. Oh, that's going to be a lot more difficult.
Glass casket isn't gonna take it, isn't enough. But intervention, he can definitely uh, gain a whole bunch of life and kill um, Annex. He's at two life. What happens here? He's definitely go for, gonna go for intervention and try and gain as much life. He can gain four life, right? Four life taking him to six. He blocks one creature, goes down to three. With the fervent champion, he goes down to two again. Ooh. Man, mono red is just taking it to him. Turn after turn, but now he's out of cards. If he activates his land and everything gets plus one, plus oh. Yep, he's going for it. He's going for the victory right here, boys. So he blocks one. I don't think he can. So he gains X life. So he'll gain four. I don't think it's enough. Wow, I just don't think it's enough. And yet it was, he's still at two life. Sublime Empathy. So, Epiphany. You return something to a hand, which I guess would be a token. Target player draws a card. I guess he's drawing a card here. Does he want to make a copy of anything? No, he can't make a copy because it's of his own creatures, right? Yeah, so he's going to return something, which is a token, and he's going to draw a card. It returns a token, draws a card. Oh, and he top decked a lamb. Good game. And just like that, it's all over. Wow, that was so quick.